me and Tom met at art college at a place called Westwood in Scarborough and uh, it was a course that allowed us to do a variety of different things from textiles to 3D uh, to graphic design and then I went on to do graphic design in Liverpool and Tom went to Edinburgh. Yeah so in Edinburgh I did ceramics uh, which was really good but then afterwards there was no jobs doing what we wanted to do um, so I moved back to Scarborough Craig went to London for a bit and then we both realised we just weren't doing what we'd like to do. So we set up a studio in a derelict flat above my mum's shop in Scarborough and we started screen printing t-shirts initially. And from the back of that we then started making prints, artworks and eventually moved to London to help someone set up a gallery. Yeah, the guy that we that sort of invited us to move to London um, had an online gallery and was already working with a handful of artists but he didn't have anyone who could screen print for them and he'd seen what we did, liked our style and sort of pulled us in to, to be the in-house printers. Um, so we built up our sort of name from that and got involved in a few different galleries and shows um, with other artists down in London and, um, and, all, and sort of popped our studio around, didn't we? We'd made everything yeah. ourselves really so we could kind of dismantle it and put it back together in different places. Yeah, so we, we moved to Walthamstow and took on a, a building with um, somebody that we met who wanted to set up an, an arts initiative really, sort of a, an art collective and community interest group, isn't it? The, so Wood Street Walls, he was looking for artists to come and start painting murals and we met him because we were looking to move our studio from Hackney Wick. Um, that was largely to do with the fact that we were starting to take down all the old buildings and warehouse spaces that artists were using. Um, and Tom was living out in Walthamstow, so we thought we'll look in that area and uh, set up something new that was, wasn't just for us, it was for other artists as well. So uh, we've already done several projects with Jeff, who is out of protest projects. Um, when this one came up, because it was a, initially a floor paint only, um, and we'd done that before he asked us and we were interested. Um, we came up and we did an initial visit, met the council and some councillors and local residents. And from there it, we went on to do uh, several workshops and focus groups and it turned into a bigger project. So when we visited the site, we saw there was a, a nice gable end wall that looked onto the park. And we basically proposed the idea of doing that as well went and knocked on the door, asked the lady, and she was interested in us doing it, and let us, you know, go from there. So for the process, we started with initial site visit, and then we did several workshops, um, one with a local primary school, so they had collage elements where they could stick uh, simple shapes, they had blank sheets where they could draw anything they want, or they could just write down answers of inspirations. From there, we took that away, and we tried to do designs that involved as many of the suggestions as possible. We did three designs that the public could then vote on um, and the winning one was picked to be painted. One of the key things that came up was that the area was a little bit sort of uh, overlooked and wasn't taken care of that much so from that feedback and the feedback we'd got from the children of it wanting to be quite playful we sort of tried to combine elements that we've used previously with nature, um, but then also elements that are kind of used in games like knots and crosses and things like that. And um, fusing those two together, we came up with this image of that sort of represents nurture and nature at the same time. So encouraging people to look after what they've got and for new things to grow and become part of a community. Yeah, I guess uh, if we were to give any advice to, to young people, it would be to, to just give it a go. We didn't really have a plan um, when we first set up our studio where, where it would take us and what opportunities would come up. And over time, we've been doing it 15 years now. And uh, it's changed and it's evolved and we've moved with it and we've worked with galleries and we've worked with private commissions and then uh, different projects and council groups and school groups and all the time it's we learn something new each time don't we and yeah, yeah. We, we 
take the skills that we've learned before and transfer them into what we do next. I think everybody can do something. You're just, a lot of the time, just quite scared to try it. So that's why, especially in the workshops, try and make it so that everybody can have a go at doing something. Thank you.